What's up, guys? The Immortal Nerd here, and welcome back to Let's Talk Anime, where we talk about anything and everything that is anime. And I know before I get into it, I missed two Saturdays. The first one, I already told you I wasn't going to, you know, have one up if I didn't like what I got. But this one, I slacked off a little bit, but it's all good. It's all good. Um, uh, but anyway, now that I got that out the way, uh, today's topic will be about fairy tale. Yeah, not the whole, not the whole series, just one, one part in particular that I'm uh, talking about would be uh, the the spinoff actually, and that's Fairy Tale Zero, and that is about pretty much the prequel. Before the main, you know, fairy tale series, also uh, written by uh, the same person that does fairy tale, Hiro uh, Mashima, and you know, I finished watching it uh, what, some a couple of days ago. Only twelve episodes, I believe, um, and it's it kind of it's still linked to the main fairy tale uh series because you have like the beginning episode to start it off it takes place after the events that happened with the whole uh with the whole demon things i think i think that's what that was and then the end the episode it brings it back to present day so the middle piece was the telling the story of how a fairy tale came to be. Now, in only twelve episodes, it, it only gives you a taste, really. And I mean, it was it was good. Don't get me wrong. I love fairy tale to death. I mean, it's it's awesome. Um, but twelve episodes, it's it just wasn't enough for me. And I, I'll get into that later uh, on why I say that. But the whole premise of it, Fairy Tale Zero, you know, it talks about how Fairy Tale came to be. You have your characters, Mavis, who ends up being the first master, good master of Fairy Tale. You have Yuri Dreyer, who is the future father of Makarov, who is the third uh, guild master of Fairy Tale in present day. Well, I guess present day, he's like the fifth master now because he quit. And then he got put back on again after two other people were the kill master. But he ends up being the third master his first time around. But yeah, Yuri is the, the father of Makarov, who is the great grandfather of Loxus. And they those those two have the, the same ability of using lightning magic. Lightning magic. Who oh, else you have Pret, who is the who becomes the second guild master for fairy tale. And then you have Warid. You meet him right before the Tartaros chapter starts. He's this, like in present day, he is this, you know, old guy who is made up of, you know, a tree. Like he's actually a tree now because he uses uh, plant magic or nature magic. And I guess with that, using it so much he became a tree, I guess. I don't know. But I think he's the only one who is living now in present day out of the original founders of Fairy Tale. I'm trying to think. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think he's the only one living now. But, oh, you also have another character. Uh, Mavis childhood bully slash turn to best friend Zira. And she's like, she was like the daughter of this uh, guild masters of Red Lizard or whatever. He's like old school guild masters, uh, not guild masters, but guild, uh, guild halls. I can't even speak. Um, and they were all, you know, not all of them, but the Red Lizards, they were based on uh, Tenro Island. So this is why 
this this is why Timberwolf Island is the sacred ground. Oh, I cannot talk. It's the sacred grounds of Timberwolf Island because that's what Mavis just wanted to be. But having the main guild hall in Magnolia and how they end up on Magnolia. Well, uh, the one of their sacred items, the Tenro orb or something like that, was had gone missing from the island because Blue Skull, Blue Skull, another old school guild, magic guild, has stole it, and that's where their uh, guild hall was located in Magnolia. So, Mavis, Zira, Yuri, Prek, and Warred. They all set sails to go to Magnolia, and bam. Now, before all of this, Tenero Island was a very populous island, and, you know, a lot of vegetation, and wildlife, and all those other things. But the reason why it's so desolate and desolate in present day is because Blue Skull had came and raided their entire island. And it was crazy. Like, everybody pretty much died. Almost everybody. Except Mavis and Zero. And they spent their entire lives on that island by themselves. And I think the time that it happened Mavis and Zero, they were the same age, so they were six. And then seven years after, that's when you get the other three, Yuri, Pret, and Warred. They were originally treasure hunters, and that's what led them to that island, because they heard about that orb as a S-class uh, treasure, so they were going to get a lot of money for it if they found it. And that's how you know those three and Mavis and Zero met and was on to this magical journey. And uh, you also see Zeref in here. He's the one who actually taught these group uh, to how to use magic. So that was quite interesting. I thought they would have developed it on their own or they already knew it. Uh, Mavis, she already, she knew a little bit, but that's by reading books and that was only to create like these Incredible, massive illusions. But once, you know, her enemy or opponent would realize they're just illusions, she's pretty much done. She can't really be of any use in an actual magic battle against a wizard or mage, if you call them that. Uh, what else? There's not a whole lot to say about it. I mean, that's that was pretty much it. You know, the founding of fairy tale. But the reason why, I'm now going to the reason why I say that he could have done a whole lot more with it. Soon, the fairy tale manga is going to end. Yes, I know it's, it's heartbreaking. I know when I found out I was I was crushed. I was like, no, no, this no, it, it no, it can't. This cannot happen. This is impossible. This is fairy tale. It's supposed to live on forever. Like it's the reason why it's called fairy tale. And I was, I was getting kind of upset and mad. I was talking to uh, uh, one of my buddies, Mister McBlam. I was telling him, I'm like, this can't happen. I'm like, as long as One Piece been out, I mean, it's been out since you know 2004. Because uh, I remember that's when it like first aired on like Fox Kids or Fox Box or 4K Kids or something like that. 4K Entertainment or something. Still Fox. And I was like, One Piece been out since then. And it's still going. It has like almost 800 episodes. I'm like, no, no. Like I thought, I thought uh, Naruto was going to keep going, but that had, you know, it's in. But it, it left, the ending was satisfying. Like, it was, it was, it was a good ending. Like, yeah, this is, you know, I, I was with Naruto for this long. And at the end, he finally became what he wanted to be. And I'm like, yes, this is complete. Really don't want to watch uh, Boruto. 
because that's not my journey anymore. That's you know new generation, so I really don't care about Baruto. But anyway, yeah, but Fairy Tale, I'm like, no, this, no, this can't end. No, why? Then I was like, if it does end, let it end peacefully or in a right way. Like it's still, it'll still be sad that it's ending, but let the ending be complete. Like there should be nothing missing from it. We shouldn't be left with any questions about anything. Let it be complete. Then that's why I was like, Fairy Tale Zero. It could have been, he could have done a, a lot more episodes for it. Like I, I get that it was just supposed to be something to say this is how Fairy Tale was formed, but I wanted to see the other things about it. Like, all right, yeah, it's formed now. So tell us more. Like how, like what did they do to you know become this? top guild in magnolia like show these like actually show the wars that they were in uh show how during the wars that mavis was known to be the fairy tactician and all of that show when mavis dies when yuri dies you know when makarov is born and becomes the, the third master prep becoming the, the second master Ward leaving and all of that stuff. Like I want to, I wanted to see all of that. I don't know about you guys, but I wanted to, and that could have been easily. I don't know. Depending on how creative, it could have been a hundred episodes, maybe. And I don't know if he if he sees this, Hiro Mashima. If you see this, come on, do it, do it for me, the immortal nerd. I'm. I'm the only important one. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, I felt like it could have it could have been so much more to this. Like let fairy tale live on. Not just in my heart, but <laughs> on TV as well. But I don't know. I'm just I'm just kinda hating on One Piece. I know some of you One Piece fans out there, and I used to be too when it first came out, but it's just, you know. I didn't have internet or anything like that. My only source for watching it was cable. And when I lost that for like X amount of years, I just stopped watching TV in general, even anime for a while. So I didn't have cable nor internet. Like the only things I knew were, was what I watched before. You know, I had no access to any of this stuff. And I just fell off, fell off of One Piece. And when I tried to get back on, it was like already... 300 episodes in and I'm like or 400 and I'm like I don't think I'm gonna watch this <laughs> like I barely uh, try to watch get into uh, she Putin because when that was out like I will watch little snippets here and there and I'm like what the heck is going on I'm like what Naruto he's what sage mode what pain who's this guy and I was like, it's too many episodes. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to start at the pain uh, chapter and go on from there. And like, well, not even there. I just did like the pain part. And then like the rest of it was like the beginning of the, the other great, great war. I think it was the third or the fourth. I skipped some of those. Cause I, I kind of like seen them already before. I just had to remember what place I was at. I was like, okay, yeah, I remember that. Skip ten extra, ten extra episodes, because you know it's mainly flashback and they don't really matter really. And like even with uh, Naruto, I don't think I even finished that completely. Like I, I think I left off where. Naruto was going off to train with Jiraiya Sensei. I think that was it, I believe. Like, I, I was like, nah, nope, I'm not even going to go back that far and try to go all the way up to catch, to be up to date. Like, no, just start from Shippuden. Pain, skip 40 plus episodes, and then get to the good stuff. That's how I did uh, Naruto. But with One Piece, I, I don't know. I don't know. 
I mean, it'll probably be a good pastime to wait for these other, you know, good shows that I'm waiting to be finished to come out. Like with Attack on Titan, the second season, the dub version. I know the 10th just got released. So two more episodes, two more weeks, and then I'll probably, I may even do uh, uh, reactions and thoughts with that since that's only 12 episodes for the second season of Attack on Titan. But uh, yeah, anyway, back to Fairy Tale. Uh, so yeah, with that, I feel like Fairy Tale Zero could have been stretched a whole lot more. Uh, but that's besides the fact we are going to get an, uh, another season, which is probably going to be hopefully not the last. Uh, it depends on how fast they do the the abdat, anime adaptation to the the manga, because if the manga is still ahead, then we can still push for more. You know, animation for it, and a a movie. Another movie had came out, Dragon Tale, uh, <laughs> Dragon Tale, <laughs> Fairy Tale, Dragon Cry. Uh, that has already been out. I did not know this. Like I thought it was, like it was still in production or something like that. It was. It's already been out in other countries except the United States. Go figure. But uh, yeah, I'll. I'll probably find that somewhere or just wait until it comes out English dub to watch it. So come on, Funimation, what you waiting for? But uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of pretty much it, what this video was going to be about. Fairy Tale Zero and how Fairy Tale in general should keep on, keep on going, come on. Do something with this, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I probably should have done a, a reactions and thoughts to it. I wasn't really thinking about it. Uh, oh well, but you will uh, get some reactions and thoughts to the Attack on Titan second season and some other stuff. I'm not going to tell you what yet, but it's all in the works. And I am also working on a new project. I think I mentioned this before in one of my previous videos. Keep an eye out on that, okay? <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll wrap it up here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, what what are your thoughts on Fairy Tale Zero? Like, do you think that it, it ended good, or do you think, like myself, that it could have been stretched out a lot more? Like, actually seeing how Fairy Tale became the number one deal in Magnolia. So, uh, yeah, please like, share, subscribe. You know, thumbs it up if you can see that. <laughs> you know, give this out there to all the nerds in the universe, multiverse, and alternate dimensions. And I will see you in the next one. The Immortal Nerd, signing off.